Uh, working title, Famine the Musical. Two lovers, one dream, no potatoes. Two, two, three, four. Bobby Dilly, Bobby Dilly, Bobby Dilly, 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 That was the overture. Well, I'm starving hungry. And so am I. I'd love a potato. Or a shepherd's pie. I haven't eaten a thing in days. I want chips. A waffle. A bake. Mash. Pondatera Leone's. Cause it's famine. But da do ba do da Slowly dying from lack of food. Yeah, famine. But da do ba do da We won't let hunger spoil the mood. Lights up in a small village in the west of Ireland. How are you, Sean? Famished. How are you, Seamus? I'm pretty hungry myself, yeah. Enter our hero, Michael Lee Prawty, who's reminiscent of a young anorexic Jason Donovan. He spots his love interest, Breed, and they exchange longing glances over a steaming, rotting sack of Jersey Royals. Could it be her hash brown eyes? Perhaps. Or her lips like two King Edwards in disguise? Perhaps. Her creamy mash complexion that so stolen my affection. Turn my guts to jelly, sending spasms through my belly. Is this love or is it hunger? I can't tell the difference any longer. But this is a forbidden love, for her father is the local landlord who has infected the entire cast. They come pouring onto the stage, chewing grass and cursing the sick god that brought this evil pathogenic water mold upon them. We've been evicted by circumstances, sent on our way with no second chances, bound for the workhouse or worse, for the rest of our days. How did we let all this get so dreadful, staking so much on just one root vegetable, leaving us likely to die in a number of ways. <coughs> Such as typhoid and dysentery, <coughs> very gradually and, and unpleasantly. Lights up on a part of the stage made to look like England, where the evil Lord Trevelyan sits in a ca ca castle made entirely of corn and money. He laughs, throwing fistfuls of juicy grain into the air as he begins to consider the Irish problem. Now they tell me there's trouble in Ireland, a peculiar form of dissent, that the people have taken to starving and getting behind on their rent. Now we can't give them something for nothing, and we can't let them think that we can So to show them we're not double bluffing I've devised an ingenious plan We'll make them build a hill And then knock down a hill And then surround the hill with other hills We've knocked down and rebuilt until we've loads of hills Great massive rows of hills A whole west coast of hills and ditches Dug by starving people which is really marvellous because it's hard for us to be generous with grain unless we get hills in exchange. Meanwhile, back in Ireland, we haven't got any food in us, we haven't got any food in us, we haven't got any food in us, we haven't got any, we haven't got any, we haven't got any food. And the food we have is blighted. Lights up on Michael building a hill with some friends. They tell him about a magical land called America, where the streets are paved with etc. And this sounds like the perfect place to emigrate with Breed and a number of other main characters they pick up along the way. We're all going to America, where the weather's better. We're all going to America. I've not packed my sweater. And as soon as we step off the boat, We'll be handed a pie and a vote And if we wish we'd stayed We'll just have a parade on a float On the way to the boat they stop off to visit Michael's father Who begs them not to abandon their ancient spot-based way of life But why, father? Oh, Michael 
Just imagine a spud was a person Now imagine that person was sick Would you give up on them all in one go Or would you be steady and ready to show That you love them as much as a brother That you needed them more than a friend That a flowery spud was your favourite food And you'd be there for them till the end And there's no kind of blight that could make it all right To abandon them all for the sake of a journey To a country I don't even trust where you'll purchase a gun and by stages become a less likable version of us. But they ignore him and head straight to the coast where the entire cast is gathered ready to board a coffin ship. There they sing one final song and dance number before heading to America. Most will not survive the journey. What? What? Sorry. <laughs> is greener. We're all going to America, where the air is cleaner, where the cotton grows high in the south, and it practically harvests itself. And there are no landlords or poor laws to worry about. Oh, imagine a spot was a person. Imagine that person was sick Brought to their knees by some fungal disease Which left them all mucky and Irish and icky and black Is it hunger? I don't think it matters any longer Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Hey.